After sanitizing the waters north of Norway, B-133 prowled the waters, waiting for the capitalist cargo ships that were anticipated to arrive any day now. The crew was ready for our next trial. After engaging multiple surface task forces in a row, we were rather proficient with engaging them and destroying them at this point. Our sonar shack reported distant contacts in the early hours of August 31st. The 52 men of this rust bucket rapidly manned their battle stations and prepared for combat. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our 1984 USSR campaign in Cold Waters. We have made contact with the NATO landing force that we are tasked with destroying. Let's go ahead and bring up the UI here and we can hear our sonar operator calling out multiple contacts oh, and all of them seem to be to the west of us. Let's begin identifying Sierra 1 and let's check the conditions real quick actually. There is a very weak layer at 53 meters so that will be relatively helpful. Let's change course new heading 270 shall we turn towards the targets. I believe these two were actively pinging. I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, they are kind of close. And let's rig the boat for ultra quiet. And let's check this. This is a very strange profile. Oslo. Okay. So they're being escorted by Norwegian frigates, which is honestly relieving. I'm not going to lie, they're not as big of a threat as like a OHP or something. This seems to be just a trawler or something. Halfway tempted to come up to PD. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Come up to periscope depth. We'll stick up the scope and take a look. Okay, the boat is at periscope depth. Let's raise the periscope. All right, definitely within detection thrust hold. Let's make this snappy. Where the heck are they? Okay, drop it. I'm guessing the freighters are right in between Sierra 1 and Sierra 2 here. Sierra 1 is at 278. Can I not see them? Okay, Sierra 4. There, okay, here we are. There's one. Two, a Sierra one and two. Where the heck are the freighters? Okay, drop it. Put a Sierra four. NATO small freighter. Just a single freighter? Just a single freighter, no way. Okay, let's just start dropping down below the layer, down to 73, 76 meters. Sierra 5? Hello. What are you? Another NATO ship, maybe? Another freighter. I'd be shocked if it, there was just a single... Just mark it as that for now. Very possible it's just another trawler or something. Interesting. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like Sierra 1 or 2 are alerted to our presence just yet, thankfully. Who knows? There could be torpedoes in the water. We're going to drop down below the layer, increase speed to like 5 knots, and try to close this gap. We want to ensure we actually hit with our wakecombers, so we're going to get nice and close. Okay, this is a very interesting development. We have Sierra 4 which seems to be heading east-northeast, and we just picked up Sierra 6. We just got that report. I'm guessing this is another NATO cargo ship. Yeah, NATO small freighter. Okay, so let's change course. Uh, Sierra 4 is now turning. 
Yeah, it does look like she's turning. Okay, well, we will see how she turns. What's our depth? 76 meters. Let's go a bit deeper, down to 168. Interesting. We're just going to try to mingle our way into a perfect position here. Okay, so things are going rather well. We're around 4.8 kilometers away from CR1 and around 6 kilometers away from the two freighters track. They are zigzagging around a little bit. And actually, thinking let's change course. New heading 215, please. Yeah, come right to 215. Additionally, CR1 is, you know, getting a little something something on active, but nothing too crazy. CR2 has no idea where we are. And I'm going to... Let's go to five knots. Let's see how risky this is. Hopefully it... Doesn't work out too poorly for us. I think we should be okay with uh, just increasing speed to five knots. I just want to close a little quicker. And uh, hopefully CR1 will end up turning and putting us in her wake, we will see. And that that's probably wishful thinking now. Additionally, we do have two decoys loaded just in, ca just in case things get too spicy. I don't think we will need those, however. Okay, CR1 just slowed down significantly. Oh, she can hear us. Rig for ultra quiet. Oh boy. We have absolutely been detected. She slowed up extremely fast. Now I'm wondering if we should shoot. Let's uh, make like a hole in the water though. Zero knots. And uh, we'll just cross our fingers and hope here. Zero two also slowed down quite a bit. Are these freighters still turning? No, it looks like they're heading south now. Who knows? Maybe we will get lucky here. And hopefully we're not detected. Zero Two is turning our way, however. Yep. Looks like uh, we have been detected, but I still think we'll be able to get these freighters. We are how far away? Seven kilometers away. I guess we can shotgun some fish their way. We'll see if uh, CR1 and 2 speed back up, though. Okay, good news. We are in CR1's wake. CR2 can barely hear us. Let's increase speed to 3 knots. Uh, they they thought they heard something, but they're not too sure what. So uh, I am feeling pretty good about this still. The fact that she turned and put us in her wake is honestly fantastic. And it does look like she is accelerating. We'll definitely torpedo her as well while we are at it. And it looks like the small freighters are continuing their zigzag pattern. It looks like they're turning back to port now. Perfect. We are out of Sierra One's wake, and she can now pick us up if she goes active. We'll see if that happens, and we'll see if she launches. We are at a dead stop now. Break for ultra quiet. How fast are these freighters going? They are moving at a speed of seven knots. Sierra One is the primary threat, though. Looks like she's doing a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Doing a 360 here. Maybe she will... Oh my gosh, what, whatever these freighters are doing, I'm I'm a fan. And it looks like CR1 is starting to pour on the coals a little bit, going up 13 knots. Did an active ping and ooh, yep, that's her. That's her detecting us for sure. Okay, time to come up to 107 meters. Increase speed to three knots. 
I'm wondering if there are fish in the water already. I'm not seeing anything just yet. But she turned right for us. Yep, there we go. There's there's what I was waiting for. All right. Okay, in that case, increase speed to five knots. Five knots, please. You know what? Make it eight. Make it eight knots. And... Wait. Turn on a heading of 305. And make it 10 knots. Let's see the... <laughs> the panic starting to set in as I increase my speed. Okay. What's our depth? 113 meters. We have to be uh, above 108 meters to launch our 5365k torpedoes. Sierra 1 is going to get one right her way. Once we are at 107 meters, there we are. And we want it to activate pretty quick. There we go. Shoot tube 1. All right. Time for the Senado cargo. Uh, well, it looks like they're doing a... Okay, shoot there. Two. Two away. Honestly. Let's shoot one here as well. Don't tell me there's a freaking plane. Oh, no. Okay. All right, that's not good. But uh, let's increase speed to 16 knots. Down to 300 meters. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, and I'm thinking we will shoot one of these bad boys. There we go, right out the stern tube. Swam out. And we just have set 65s left. We're definitely going to have to return to home base after this. And, yeah, okay. Here we go. See if a little knuckle will throw it off. Make it go for our decoy. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's very determined to sink us. Another knuckle form that threw it off. Rudder amidships. Perfect. Keep running at a brisk 16 knots. And. We are way too deep to fire Wakehomers, so we're going to have to... We'll have to see here. This one's still running nice and deep, heading for the NATO freighters. I'm not sure if one is sicking on Sierra 1. Okay, let's knuckle. And come up. Up, 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 up. That P3 flying above is not, not fun. This torpedo is on us. Knuckle formed, both fish are off. Love to see it. We are going to come up and fire off one fish towards Sierra 1 again. Because why not? We can, we can scan through our torpedoes. They're racing to the surface. Oh my gosh, this one got very close to Sierra 1. Okay, what's our depth? Okay, 124 meters. Let's start leveling out. Torpedo is well below us. 105 meters. We are good to shoot. There we go. Let's shoot to... Whatever. Six. Six away. That's going for Sierra 1. And we are going to keep running on this course. And I am not sure that's actually going to... Okay. There is one uh, on Sierra 1, and that's it. That's all she wrote here. That looked like a pretty catastrophic explosion. One going down. And now we have to see if we end up getting the freighters.
the Oslo's Mark 46 torpedoes are homing in straight on her, which uh, is nice, I suppose. Look at this torpedo just going straight for her. Is it going to actually manage to hit? No, I got thrown off. That probably will all crush. Well, that solves our little torpedo problem. Let's go ahead and drop down the three knots and rig for ultra quiet once again. And I'm thinking, oh, we have Sierra 2 kind of bearing down on us. This is going to be a problem. And here's hoping some of our torpedoes run into these NATO small freighters. Okay, so that is one small freighter taken out and one Oslo. This Oslo is engaging us. We are going to fire a torpedo her way now. There we go, have fun with that. And we are going to change course and run away. I'm hoping three ships out of the four will be more than enough. We shall see, let's increase speed to eight knots and start moving. Well, unfortunately, it looks like that torpedo completely missed her wake. So we are going to try again. Let's see. Problem is she changed course, which definitely threw us off. Let's shoot one right there. There we go, tube eight away. Hopefully it actually acquires the wake. That would be swell. Her torpedoes that she fired ran off towards CR1, thankfully. Also, we have this wake homer just going in circles above CR1. So that one's kinda, that one's a waste for sure. Let's see, and this is our Noisemaker. It looks like this small freighter is going to get away. Hopefully, this is still a mission success with two warships sunk and one small freighter. Who knows? Uh, high command is definitely, well, our commander, I guess, is definitely quite uh, particular when it comes to what ships sunk constitute a success. So we'll see. Um, hello. Yeah, just fly right over. Don't drop anything. Thank you. Well, our Wakehomer is looking pretty darn good here. I think Sierra 2 is going to eat it. And you know what? Oh, we lost contact on the small freighter, unfortunately. Well, debating disengaging or trying to fire at her. Let's mark her position here. There we go, impact. Sierra 2 is destroyed. We have to head back home to rearm anyway. I think I'm going to try to fire right here and hopefully that ends up hitting. We want, yeah, let's have it activate right around here because it doesn't have too much range. There we go. Last wake homer. We'll see what happens. If we hit it, we hit it. If we don't, we don't. Can't say we didn't try. Let's turn southeast and uh, start working our way out of the area, however. Well, that Wakehomer torpedo we fired off just ran straight and ran out of fuel. It does look like it missed the target's wake, and that's okay. Now, for the moment of truth, let's see if we actually succeeded. However, we can't just leave yet. Weapons nearby. Apparently, there are weapons nearby. I'm guessing it's these sonar buoys from the aircraft above us. So we are going to... Let's go down to 300 meters and lay low and disengage. Okay, we are now clear to leave the engagement area. Let's leave combat. One small freighter escaped. 8,000 tons even sent down to the bottom. Our radar mass is still damaged from a few episodes back. Hopefully this is enough for them. If not, I am gonna be mildly upset. Okay, phew. Wipe the sweat from my brow. Congratulations on a job well done. Losing those supplies will hurt the enemy big time. Stand by for additional orders. And we got 20 prestige, which is cool. Hopefully we will be able to use this soon to get another sub besides the Foxtrot. I'm really just waiting on a promotion at this point.
Well, folks, that will do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.